Hey guys, I will be doing problem 98, which is called Valid Binary Search Tree. And the problem states that given a binary search tree, determine if it is a valid binary search tree. So we can say that the binary search tree is defined to be um, a tree that all of the left subtree nodes must contain values that are less than the current node's value. And similarly, for the right subtree, all of those nodes must be greater than the current node's value. And additionally, um, the left node and the right node must also be recursively binary search trees. So, for example, here we have this two and uh, all the left nodes of the two is just one and that's less than two so that's good and all the right nodes of two is three so that's also validates this a tree in which case we should turn true in this scenario we have a left node that's one but for the five we also have some right nodes the right nodes are three four and six so there's two palms here three is less than five and also four is less than five therefore this is a not a valid binary search tree so um let's turn false at this point um i would recommend you pausing the video if you haven't given this a try but otherwise i'll get started so in this example it seems pretty evident to know that this is a valid like a i guess it is a violation by just looking at this node's right value and seeing that it's greater than the current node but we also need to understand why in case that this was a valid node we also have to detect if this was an invalid node we know it's an invalid node but um, we can't really determine that by just looking at the parent node so we have to somehow think about um, we have to somehow pass down this information that there's a 5 here and this number must be greater than 5 really this number must be greater than 5 and also less than its parents node uh, because it's a binary search tree so uh, this this we would have to look for the closest um, right parent and the closest left parent. So the closest right parent is four and the closest left parent is five. So what we can do is in a, uh, we can do this recursively and just keep track of what the minimum value of current node could be and the maximum value of current node can be. So um, that's what we would do when we're at a specific node and we're looking at the left node then we know that this left node the maximum that this left node could be would be five but actually if this was five and this was five that would actually still validate the problem uh binary search tree rule because it says that the nodes must be strictly greater than or less than therefore this node must be four or less um Okay, so great. So uh, we'll have a recursive function, but we'll also pass in the minimum value and the maximum value current note could be. So what I'll do here is I'll add parameters to this is valid is valid binary search tree, but I'll add them in a certain way so that we don't mess with the test case. Because let's say if I add a min and max, and I run the code, uh, you see an error that says that the arguments don't match. I'm going to match. So I will pa I'll pass in default values. And the reasonable default value would just be negative infinity and positive infinity. And to do that in Python, I would do this. And the max would be both of infinity. Great. So now we just have to check if this nodes value is in between the uh, 
these min and max and then we also have to check if this the we have to check if the children of this node are also valid binary search trees so one way of doing this um, I think would be easy is that if I just uh, rather than checking all the conditions and then returning the results I'll just check each condition one at a time and whenever the condition fails I would return false and if we pass in all the conditions and none of them failed then that means this node is a valid binary search tree so let's do that the first condition would be the root that value must be um, it must be less than I'm sorry, it must be greater than the min value. So, um, the root that value must be greater than the min value, but if we wanted to check if this condition failed, uh, we would invert this to be less than or equal to. So if the root that is less than or equal to the min, then we want to return false. And then similarly, if root that value is greater than or equal to the min max, Turn false. And now we want to check the right and left subtrees. But in some conditions, the right and subtrees do not exist. And I also have to think about the case where the root is just none. If that's the case, if the root is none, then we can say that this tree is a valid binary search tree. So if uh, not root is none, return true. All right. Great, so now I have to check the right and left. And I should only check them if the right and left do exist. So if root that right exists, then I'll do if is valid binary search tree of root that right. Uh, then uh, if it's not a valid, then I want to cross. But here's the important part. I need to update the ranges. Uh, let's pass in min and max as they currently are right now, uh, but these still need to be updated. So if we're looking at a right node, we can say that the new minimum should be this parent node that we just uh, went through. So when we're at 5, when we're looking to the right, the, mo the new minimum should be the current node's value. So that would be a node that value. And that looks right. The maximum stays the same because the maximum with a number from, uh, I mean, in this case, it will be infinity, but the maximum would be some other value that we got before. But we want to do something to the root that left. So if not self that is valid, history, root that left, min, it's a min, max is equal to no that value. Then turn false. And at the very end, if we went through all these conditions and all passed, then we want to return true. Great. Let me move this and let me run the code, see if it works. Okay, the node does not exist because I'm calling it root here. This seems to work. Uh, let's try this input. I wish to expect false. Great. Um, let me submit this and see how it goes. Great. This looks like it works fine. Um, yeah. If you like this video, uh, you can like it. Otherwise, thanks for watching.